Hello. I've seen a lot of comments and videos on YouTube on how to test whether an egg is good or bad using a glass of water. And they call this the float test. This is not a way to test if an egg is good or bad. Rather, you can test whether an egg is fresh or older, but it will not tell you whether the egg is good or bad. Here I have two sets of eggs. These are all duck eggs. These I gathered this morning. And these eggs, I had a carton that was washed and put away in the refrigerator in the bottom uh, drawer, and we forgot about them, and they're pretty old, probably close, getting close to a year old. And when I pick one of these eggs up, it's very light. They're very, very, very light, as opposed to these, which are much heavier. So when I take one of these old eggs, put it in the water, it floats quite well. But if I take this new egg from today and put it in there, it sinks to the bottom. The reason this is, is there's more moisture in this egg. As an egg ages, the moisture evaporates through the pores, which will cause the air cell in the top of the egg to enlarge. I've got a flashlight here, and I'll try and see if this will pick it up. There we go. You see that line right there? Anything above this line is the air cell in this egg. It's quite large. And that's why that egg floats so well. Now if I take an egg from this morning, see if it'll see it. That little circle is the air cell, that little tiny circle. Not much air in this egg. That's why this egg will sink. Again, it doesn't mean that these eggs are bad. It just means that they are old and a lot of the moisture has evaporated. I can crack this egg open. Some membrane stuck to that one. And there's not much, not many, not much egg whites in it. The yolk is very thick, almost a consistency of like a jelly. Take this other egg and I'll crack this one open. Duck eggs are rather difficult to crack open. And it's the same. Some line on there. Not much egg whites and the yolk is very thick. But these eggs can still be cooked and they can still be eaten. I'm going to pour these eggs in this pan. As you can see they're cooking just like a regular egg. about done. It's a little thicker than a fresh egg, but it is still good. So as you see, float test does not determine whether an egg is bad.